Hey, hey, hey everyone, my name is Fire and today in Riders of Icarus we're gonna check out how to get more taming chants for taming mounts. There are a lot of mounts in this game and some are harder than others, especially the legendary ones. So I have a guide here on how to get more taming chants on getting a bit more success on taming those hard mounts. I was thinking of maybe making this kind of a video but I wasn't sure but then I was asked to do it, so yeah, why not? So here is the Taming Chance uh, Booster Guide <laughs> video, I guess I could say that. And um, let's go right into it. Let's go to the first one, which is the title. And there's, I think, four different kind of titles that you can obtain uh, by doing some kind of things that are said in here. You get one person taming chance. There are four titles that all give just one person, but sometimes that one person is all you need to get that mount. Uh, but let's go through them all. Uh, the first one is a familiar master, and you can get this by successfully taming familiars of any grade 300 times, and it gives, like I said, one percent. Uh, then the next one is Master of Transformations and this one you can get from transforming familiars of any grade 300 times and then there's Sealer Supreme uh, which you can get by sealing familiars of any grade 300 times and then there's one more that is a little bit lower here let's see if I can find it ah, I went past it already Ah, here. Sanctuary Pilgrim. And this one you can get by completing 155 quests in Elora Sanctuary. And all of these gives 1% taming chance, so if you have any of them or if you're close to getting any of them, uh, I would suggest on uh, finishing getting at least one of these titles, because like I said, 1% is sometimes all you need to get uh, that mount that you want. Next, let's check out uh, the taming potions. There are different kind of potions that you can buy from the Lord shop. I have here this taming success booster that will give you 10% taming chance for 10 minutes. And I will show you how to get it. You will go to Elora shop and you go to buff sections. And like you can see, there's four different kind of potions right here. There's tempering success booster, taming success booster, triumphing grafting, chance booster and marketplace free fee discount and all are three Ellen and yeah but we're now focusing on this taming success booster three Ellen's and gives 10% taming chance for 10 minutes so every time if you're taming something uh, maybe heroic and legendary maybe buy this and use it if it's something that is a little bit higher level than you are so you will get more taming chance with that. Uh, next, let's check out the outfits. There are different kind of outfits that you can get from different kind of events. Uh, and this one, these ones that I'm gonna show uh, were available from the dice events, the last two dice events. Uh, the first one is these uh, Christmas outfits. Uh, they gave 10% uh, taming chance. I have in three different colors and you can check out this, like I said, it was a Christmas uh, outfit and it is a little bit revealing, but it gives 10% taming chance, so I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, then there was on the last die 7, there was different kind of outfits, all revealing again, <laughs> for women, of course. Uh, and this gives... 20% taming chance and I have only one sadly I wasn't lucky enough to get more on this account so I'm gonna save this one uh, for when I'm taming something extra special because they once you put them active they are there for only seven days and then they are gone forever so if you have these kind of uh, outfits that will expire once you open them Use them carefully. Don't don't maybe use them for elite mounts. <laughs> maybe use for heroic and legendary mounts that are hard for you. So, yeah, use them carefully. <laughs> and next, let's check out the premium service. You can get uh, 
taming chance from pe premium service and you can get 10% taming chance from the premium service and premium service you can either buy from the Allura shop with real money like you can see right here there's options and then there's usually sometimes discounts like you can see this, these are the real prices and then you can see the discounts right here right here and you can get these uh, 30 day premium services from lucky boxes if you have any <laughs> you can shout that you are willing to buy a premium service and there are people who has some and they will trade with you and they want of course some gold back from you uh, but they are usually cheaper than what is on the marketplace so let's check what is in here premium service and there's two at the moment there was earlier three now there's only two left and these two are 1600 gold so yeah if you have the gold then go for it next we will check out uh, the jewelry now i have the ancient set and the ancient set will give a, a taming chance 20 percent and you will need to have uh, the necklace and the ancient ring one and ancient ring two in order to get this taming chance you need to have these all three to in order to get the taming chance 20 percent set effect and also there is a heroic uh, jewelry set that you can get from a drop in uh, the fractura and this ancient set also dropped from fractura and uh, yeah, if you find a party to call to Fractura and you can ask them if any uh, taming chance success jewelry set a drop if you can have them. Uh, I can't remember at all right now what is the jewelry called. I used to have it before I got the ancient set. But if you don't have the ancient set then that's one uh, good jewelry also to go after. And then while we are still in the farm uh, we will check out the farm buff. Uh, you can go to this Daryl girl over here, familiar tamer, uh, and you just click on her, and you can get a taming chance buff from here. Uh, I already have it on because I was filming this video a little bit earlier, but then kind of something happened and my mic didn't work, so I'm kind of filming everything again. Uh, but uh, this herd buff will give you 10% taming chance and you will need a red horn galadoku, dinok, elikuno and riku in order to get this set effects let's put them right here so these i can't put this on obviously but let's click on that so these four mounts are the ones that you need to obtain in order to get this herd buff right here and it also gives you familiar xp uh, 20% when you are you have this on and all these mounts need to be max level in order to get this buff and once you have these and you put them right here and you have clicked OK to put the buff on you have to wait for 30 seconds before you leave the farm in order to get the buff on and once you have the uh, taming buff on uh, you can see it right here you have it for two hours farm darling it gives you 10 percent taming chance and you can then unselect all of them and it still will stay on here and then one more buff before we move on to another map and that is the server buff there are different kind of server buffs that sometimes go on uh, and sometimes they will give you taming chance and this one is called the Alsakian blessing and it will give you 20% of taming chance and uh, sometimes there are uh, server puffs that give you 10% sometimes there are ones that give you 30% it depends on what uh, server buff is on and this one is 20% taming chance so that is pretty nice uh, so next we will go to cloying waste and I will show you the next taming chance buff so the next place that you will get or you can get some taming chance in, is in front of the El Lora Spire which is located in Cloying Waste, it's right here and uh, uh, you can come to talk to this person Eddie Smith, uh, the coin dealer and he will give you taming charm that will give you 7 that will give you 10% taming chance for 7 hours and it is uh, 30 uh, coins uh, these challenger coins that you can get inside Elora Spire 
you get one coin from each floor so if you go every day and go a few floors you will get eventually into 30 coins and you can buy that taming charm or you can even drop that charm from in, in Elora Spire these charms they drop randomly inside there and some uh, charms that you can't even see here will drop inside also and then next talisman that we all like to call a pay to win talisman and it is this special taming talisman for 14 days and it will give you 7% taming chance and this one you can buy from auction or shout or you can get it from a lucky box and there's also I think in a shop somewhere uh, let's see if I can find it Ah, yeah it's in the special section uh, and it's 4.900 nix and this one is for 30 days so you can get the same taming chance uh, for 30 days and next we are in uh, the Sekia and I can right, right now show uh, the stone that you can get or the server puff that you can get there is a stone or a server puff that you can get from uh, winning or losing the mana stone in Stigia and I think uh, the stone and the server of both gives 3% taming chance I cannot remember right now I haven't been doing the mana stones in Stigia for a long time uh, but it's either 7% or 3% I think it's 3% but right now I can remember but that is also one uh, taming chance buff that you can get uh, winning server will get uh, the server buff so you won't get any kind of stone but the the three percent or seven percent taming chance buff is on you wherever you go for six days I think and the stone is for those servers that won't win uh, and but I think you need to be in a party that kills the mana stone carrier or something in order to get this stone that will give uh, the, that Taming chance of 3 slash 7, I can't remember which one was it. And then there's also the Exeran Badlands mana stone that is for server only. The winner guild, uh, they will get a mass that will give you 3% taming chance if I can remember that one correctly also. And uh, yeah, that is also for 6 days. So if we count all of those that I show it you guys right now uh, they would give you 92 percent taming chance uh, depending on what kind of outfit you are wearing if you're wearing the better one the 20 percent taming chance outfit uh, then you would be getting 102 percent taming chance and then of course the uh, bad lands and sticky i think the bad lands mask gives you three percent taming chance but i just have in my mind that the stone and seraphoth from uh, stigia will give you seven percent but yeah i can't remember right now if someone remembers please let me know in the comments below but if that gives a uh, seven percent then you would have with these 109 percent taming chance so it is pretty good puff if you have all of these <laughs> so i hope this video was helpful and uh, you guys got some kind of tips from it and if you guys have any other kind of uh, these kind of tip videos from this game, let me know. I have at least right now an Elun video coming where I can, where I tell where you can get Elun and how to get and all the quests, etc. And if you guys have any taming uh, videos that you guys want to see, I have few videos coming up. Uh, those are more like me taming something and then showing the mount and the stats, but. If you have uh, some kind of taming card that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. I have three uh, mounts that, that people were suggesting me to do a taming guide, but it was a while ago, so I don't know, Is are those mounts still something that you guys want to see? Uh, those mounts were the Tekanin, Matthias of Gale, and the Mysterious Dishanan. Let me know if those mounts are still relevant that you guys want to see a taming guide let me know or if there's any other mounts that you want to see a taming guide so yeah let me know or any other kind of tips videos that you 
might want to see let me know and i will see what i can do but i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so so much for watching and we will see you on the next video bye bye <laughs>